Alright, another stoichiometry problem. How many moles of CO2 are produced when 2.0 moles of Ca3H8 react with an excess of O2? Remember the products of this reaction are CO2 and water. So, like any stoichiometry problem, I need the balanced equation. And I know the reactants are C3H8 react with an excess of O2. So I know I have C3H8 plus O2. And the products, it says, <clears throat> like all hydrocarbon combustion, is carbon dioxide and water. So if I'm looking at this now, <clears throat> remember I need to balance this thing. So let's see, what if I put a three here, three carbons, three carbons. How does that fix me for hydrogens? Uh, eight hydrogens, two hydrogens, so I need a four there. So three and three, eight and eight. How about oxygens? Three times two is six, plus four is ten. And I have two over here, so I'm going to need a five. Double check. Three carbons, three carbons. Eight hydrogens, eight hydrogens. Ten oxygens, six plus four is ten. Okay, so it's all balanced up. Now we look at this problem. And this problem is actually a little easier than the previous problem. This says how many moles of CO2 are produced. So I know it's moles of CO2. So I'm going to go ahead and put that over there so I remember. When 2.0 moles of C3H8, which happens to be propane, react in excess of O2. So that means I don't have to worry about how much O2. So I only have one place to start, which is 2 moles of C3H8. So it's already in moles. Remember, my first job is to get it in moles. Well, it's already there. So now I'm just ready for my mole-to-mole -mole ratio. I know the mole-to-mole -mole ratio has to go between propane and CO2, because that's what the question is. So I look at my balanced equation and say, hey, one mole of propane produces three moles of CO2. Double check my units. Moles of CO2, moles of CO2. I can do this one without my calculator. I'm good to two sig figs. 2.0 times 3 is 6.0 moles of CO2. It's a quick one.